Hey, this is Pastor Tom. Thanks for joining me in our study of Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. Ephesians is a letter of six chapters. So chapter four is quite a ways into the Apostle Paul's message. Today, I want to observe some connections in this passage with what he has written before. Verse 11 says, he gave. When we look back a few verses, we see that give and gift are used just prior in verses seven through eight. Here we see that Christ is the one giving the gifts and he gave a gift to each of his people. But why is he giving those gifts? Verse 13 gives us the ultimate purpose, that we all attain to the unity of the faith. Chapter four started with Paul calling us to be eager to maintain the unity of the spirit. Look at how this unity is defined. There is one body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God. And he continues this theme of unity with the description of a body, with each part of the body growing in him, the head of the body, Christ. So the reason these gifts are given is to bring into practice and reality the spiritual unity we already have in Christ. This unity of the church, Christ's body, has been the theme of Paul's letter. I'll point out just one prior passage, chapter 2, verses 14 through 16, where it says, For Christ himself is our peace who made us both one, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace. Paul is referring to the division there was between Jews and Gentiles who had been made into one people of God through Christ. So this unity, spiritually speaking, has been accomplished. And yet in practice, we have to grow into this reality. So Paul urges us to walk in a manner worthy of the calling and bearing with one another in love. The gifts Christ gave us are to teach and train us toward this unity. We speak the truth in love so the body builds itself up in love. This unity is based on the truth of what Christ has done and are becoming more like him. In sum, Ephesians 4, 11 through 16 is about the reality of spiritual unity for those in Christ. And Christ gave gifts to people to help us grow in the truth that is in Christ. And the truth, spoken in love, grows the body of Christ in love and therefore unity. Thanks for joining me. May the Lord bless your study as you seek to grow to be like Jesus.